Hello, I'm Oliver King, one of the co-authors of Customer Driven Transformation. Now a big theme in this book is how to think and work more like a designer. And one of the first questions that comes to mind about that is why would you want to do that? Well simply, it's about making your ideas better and making them real quicker. So getting more of the right things out to market faster. How do you do that? I think first and foremost, it's about being much more attentive in every aspect of your life to the things you're interacting with and how they perform and being curious and also being slightly dissatisfied and keen to make those things better. So that's a, a really important design quality to be curious and to strive to improve things. It's also really critical to make sure you have the time to think and have ideas in the right environment and in the right way. Designers also are more drawn towards using insight to stimulate their thinking than they are necessarily to use data. Data is great and very important for validating things, but insights give designers clues as to problems and solutions that haven't yet been recognized. So being insight-led uh, is absolutely uh, critical. There's a lot about design process that's, that's really important to take on board. There is a, a really great design process about researching, conceptualizing, developing, implementing ideas. But the rhythm of that process is all about um, test, learn, and iterate, and keep going, keep going, keep going. So as quickly as you can, developing your ideas and testing them with people who are in the market, really trying to fail early is uh, a mantra that designers uh, typically have. It's also important to think about the, the way that you're working. Designers often are much more visual. Now, that doesn't mean you necessarily have to draw, but they get their thoughts out of their head, onto a wall, uh, post-it notes, diagrams, scribbles, whatever. But making your, your thoughts visual and bringing them out helps colleagues, co-workers, customers, whoever you're talking to, to get into your head and understand what you're trying to achieve and to contribute uh, much, much more. It's critical then in that respect as a designer to be very inclusive, to be very customer-centered in everything that you do. And if you're going to do that, then you're going to make things better and get them out there and make them more successful faster.